Hey guys, I'm LB, and we have a Starfield because we are playing a request from Nija Nova, otherwise known as North Nove, who apparently has a birthday in one day, which is probably the day this video will be published, so happy birthday, I guess. <laughs> this is Stellar Nova, difficulty part 1 easy, part 2 slight and medium. Cold and neutral light companies the whole test. I think you mean a companies with an A at the start and two Cs. It was nice to make tests around cold environment, haha. <laughs> Besides, I tried making it between tests room, I hope it fits to everything else. Music from Aperture Tag, life's too short. Alright, and they want me to find a companion cube and uh, give my thoughts on the difficulty of the second part of the map. Well, let's go ahead and do that then. Right away, looks pretty nice. I have to say... It does look nice. Right, so what do we have up here? We have... Cube Dropper, which is... That's not quite back, so it's like a dark purple. Interesting. Got the laser here. I'm assuming... This might get us a laser cube, perhaps? No, it looks like a regular cube, actually. Yeah, it looks like a regular cube. also an area down here. I guess we can point the laser cube into here at some point. This is also dark purple. This is the laser cube. Alright. And up here we have... the exit to the next chamber. That apparently drops that cube over there, I'm guessing. Not sure why the signage is like that, but that's okay. What's going on here? I'm not sure how you got the signage to behave that way, but maybe there's like a- you connected it to some sort of timer or something? That'd be my guess. What do we use that portal service for, I wonder? Let's just start doing it this way, I guess. There's also that, which we'll need for the exit. Let's- let's do it this way for now. So how does the timer work exactly? I wanna- I wanna know these things. Come on. That is a very long timer. Yeah, I think that's long enough to just run over there. That is an incredibly long timer, wow. Okay. I think that might trivialize some things, but okay. So what is this? What do we use this for? Oh, it's one of the exit requirements, okay. Am I missing something? That seems kinda... Hmm. This seems kinda basic, honestly. Alright, so we got that cube now. Just go ahead and walk up here and put it on the button, I guess. So, right away a problem with this first area is that you give me the cube, and then the very first thing I do with it is put it on this button, and then I'm probably not going to move it off of this button afterwards. So, really, this cube is pointless. If I never have to move it anywhere else, then, yeah, it's a pointless cube. You should try to avoid that, you should try to make it so that cubes have to be used multiple times or in multiple ways. Alright, so now... Let's do... Let's, let's reset the timer and do that. And run for it. I guess. We have plenty of time to just run up here. Not sure what these other portal surfaces are for. Yeah. So I would definitely... I would definitely consider this to be easier than the single-player campaign's hardest maps, just so you know. Future reference. But, let's head on to the next part, which is the part they mainly want to be look at. Supposedly there's a companion cube around here somewhere, right? Oh, there it is. That wasn't hard to find. I actually did not expect it to be that easy. <laughs> well, goodbye, Companion Cube. Well, maybe I can just shove you in the door and have Physics glitch out. Let's try that. You can hear it. It's freaking out. That's good enough for me. What that's for? Hmm. We have this portal for this laser. We have another cube up here. Can't tell what kind it is. Oh. Why is it up here, then? I'm not entirely sure I understand the point of the height difference here. So 
that does something. Can't tell if that sign is says that it drops the laser keyboard if it activates. I don't know, we'll have to follow the outline for that. Wow, is that still going? It is still freaking out. <laughs> What's this button do? That dropped something somewhere. Oh, there it is. I, I went right under it. We got both cubes now. That was easy enough. What does this do? Can't really tell, actually. Let's just put this here. See if we ever need to move it from this button. Okay, that's a spot for us to fling. I wanna hit this, it's on a timer. So if my understanding is correct... Would it be something... Wait, what, did, what just respawned? Something respawned and I don't know what it was. Huh. That worked. We have a cube up here, apparently. Ooh. What do we want to do with this cube, though? Oh, that's what we want to do with it, okay. Wait, so once we've activated this, we never need to activate that again, right? Unless I'm missing something. Yeah, I think that might be that simple. Huh. Let's see how we can aim at this, if all- if at all. We just point it like that, right? That should be sufficient. I think we can shoot portals there and there, when we're up there, right? I think that should work. So let's work on this then. Yeah, so we just do that. Wait, what respawned? Are you kidding me? Wait, what? It's still there, though. What? What did I hear respawn? Do you have outside, do you have some outside logic or something? What did I imagine that? Was there not a cute respawn sound that I heard? Huh. I don't know what I heard, but I was pretty sure it was a cube respawn sound. Strange. Alright, let's do this. The timer is really forgiving, I must say. Let me do this and that. And there we go, yeah. So this one, this one I would say... has some problems as well. This cube, as soon as you get it, you put it into position and never move it. That cube, as soon as you get it, you put it into position and never move it. And, uh, this other cube over here... that we've been messing with, this one... It doesn't really do much, like, it, we use it to hit that once, and then we just point it there. And you can just leave it pointed at that portal surface for the rest of the map. Yeah. So, you definitely want to look into figuring out how to get cubes to be used multiple times or in multiple ways. But, I do like your stylistic choices. The map looks nice, so you've got the aesthetics down. Just need to work on maybe getting some better lighting in some places. And making better puzzles. And I would recommend, as always, Demon Arisen's How to Make Your Great Test Chamber series and Rectorox's guide. Right, so, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!